Hey guys, good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Welcome back to the channel. One more episode today on Alexandria fragrances. Uh, if you do not like the house, first of all, my request to you, do not watch. Simple as that. You know, if you do not like particular houses or uh, certain fragrances or certain perfumer or seller, you better avoid because like more and more, more and more you watch, you're gonna be more annoyed, right? But if you're into this house, you think this is a great house, which I think, um, the, I'm getting a lot of these fragrances, their fragrances in recent time because I think more uh, close the do of more uh, expensive uh, niche fragrances. It's better for people like us who can who like those who have the taste for those fragrances but cannot afford it for the time being. So for us, it's a blessing. It's not like we cannot afford it. We can, but we rather buy at this point five other fragrances to experience because we are still basic in the game, right? So we are in different position, different places. Okay. Another thing before I start, I have uh, two fragrances right here. I think these are brand new releases. One of them, is, there's no information. So I will let you know the story behind these two and shortly I'll review them. Just one little thing, I just noticed, you know, the reason sometimes I do not like reading or responding to some comments because so much negativity and so much petty mind are out there. I understand that out of 100, there's always gonna be like, you see, five fingers, they're never the same size. There are always gonna be people like that of this finger size, right? Tiny people. They will have uh, no contribution, right? No contribution to the community. They will have uh, no identity. They're always using fake accounts like losers. I'm just gonna say that right there. I believe people who do not have a face are losers. That is my personal thought. Third of all, people just always criticizing, bad mouthing, uh, saying negative stuff because they can, you know? They will just stay in my group. And I noticed that yesterday someone said, uh, you are too quick to judge and you are uh, not very good nose it's okay i understand i am not a very good nose i never said i am but i do like my perfumes and i've been reviewing for two three years i think i'm doing okay i review thousand uh, show me uh, your work people who criticize do 100 videos and then come and talk right so uh, i i do not take it absolute but sometimes it annoys me uh, because let's just give you an example before i start these things i have to take it off my chest because when i do this thing seriously i'm passionate about it I told you since the beginning, whatever I do in my channel, it's not backed up by anybody. I'm doing my own work. I'm paying my own money. Sometimes when I get a fragrance to review, I mention it, who gave it to me for reviewing or who gave me a gift. I mention these. I keep my 100% honesty. I don't have to justify to anybody. Even if I got <laughs> like free bottles, it wouldn't have mattered. I would keep my honest reviews up, right? Someone said yesterday, you know, I'm not taking it all negative. I understand some people who said it with... Uh, respect i respect that someone said uh, other wanted uh, intense or other wanted by night rather didn't work for me and it's weak i said right and he said you are wrong with this one you must try it again of course i'll give it a shot but you have to understand your country condition our country conditions are different we have extremely uh, harsh weather conditions here the heat is so bad heat kills fragrances in seconds like this some fragrances that doesn't work over there they work miraculously well here like dior sauvage I'm taking a little bit of time before I review today. Dior Sauvage didn't work for me in Malaysia, it didn't last, okay? It lasts a long time in Bangladesh, surprising. Some fragrances like Azar Wanted by Night did not perform, it doesn't perform in a condition. It goes away from skin very, very quickly, right? So I said that, I did give my honest opinion. So keep it in mind that smell, longevity, these are very much like, you know, subjective. People to people, country to country, it varies, right? So that's how I'm talking from my country perspective. There was a time, no one else was reviewing from our side, Bangladesh, India, Sri Lanka, Pakistan. So now there are, we have at least few reviewers, Nikhil Bhai, me, Ashafi Bhai, we have few reviewers like Baba is there reviewing for Peps Collection. So we have few reviewers, but what is important is we are talking from this weather perspective. Like your reviewers are talking from Europe, US, you get the picture, right? So I'm keeping my honest reviews, uh, honest all the time because uh, it helps people at least who are in our zone right so keep it with one open mind we are not messiahs we are just normal people so anyway coming back to alexandria after a long talk first one let me review uh, this one okay this one's both the fragrance were sent to ifran bhai uh, our usb page owner he is a official distributor for alexandria and many other houses in bangladesh they are distributing this uh, officially so he got this too as a gift from Hani Hafez. Uh, he sent over to him for his customers to see and stuff. So uh, thanks Ifran Bhai, thanks Hani Hafez once again for the bottles. It's a pleasure to smell them and give you people a feedback. One of them I think has few reviews. I think Daniel 
uh, nonsense still. I think, what's his name? Mr. Daniel, yeah, Scented Waters. Okay, I'm so sorry, but Brother Daniel is in my group. He reviewed this one, Hafiz 1984, Intense. The other one, Oriental Oud, this one, there's no information anywhere. So I wanted this so bad. So I want to review and do an initial impression for you guys, okay? So one of them is unreleased, unknown rather, new upcoming bomb. And usually Hanya Fizz's creations always bombs, okay? So the Hafez 1984, this is called Intense, okay? And this is the box, just like other ones, I'm not gonna show you again. So the bottle is the same, <clears throat> stays inside the box. Let me show you my original Hafez 1984 and their differences with the Intense. Intense one has this purple color font and the display and the bottle size is about 30 ml okay but I think for the Intense one the cap is a little bit shorter okay there you go okay the Intense one a little bit shorter juice color is almost identical yellowish this could be a little bit darker doesn't matter so this one I'm wearing it here my dry down is here and first of all if you know Hafez 84, I reviewed it. I said this is a lot like Mansara Red Tobacco, but Hani Hafez told me, uh uh, it's not a clone of Red Tobacco. I respect the brother, definitely. But to my nose, what I get, I try to give you a comparison so you people know uh, what is this new fragrance smell like compared to existing ones. That is my sole intention. I'm not saying this exact uh, tobacco, Red Tobacco like. Red Tobacco is a little bit smoky, right? There's more fruity and really be smoke too. So, Alexandria Fragrance Hafez 1984, I really like it and it's a really really good performer so notes on this was uh this was woody aromatic sweet and patchouli they mentioned them here okay so a new one it says uh half is 94 intense the name here and the notes here they say leather wood coffee and tonka so it's sort of like a gourmand territory so what i get from this on a dry down uh, it's pretty sweet. It gets uh, much more deeper than the opening. Let me spray this and talk about it on the opening. I'll tell you the middle notes as well. So spray on these. I still can believe this can be improved, my honest opinion. Uh, they sometimes get like... Tch, tch, tch. You know, it's like not like a very smooth, consistent sprayer, but these are Dickan bottles. I hope Honey Hafez will have much more premium bottles in very near by future, okay? So when you spray this for the first time, you immediately get hit just like half is 984 there's the sweet kind of like i get tobacco right away i get like a very nice uh, red tobacco sort of opening similar to this one 84 and it's a lot like red tobacco opening but it's uh kind of like a oud tobacco kind of smoky sweet okay they have the oud listed here so my nose actually picked up the oud right away but the leather you know i believe it will come a little bit later it doesn't really join the party on the top note for me at least okay and the coffee and tonka it gets on the dry down as well so basically what you get is a lot of oud and i get tobacco sweet fruity tobacco sort of like a uh, gourmand kind of a winter fragrance very heavy fragrance it's very sweet opening easily gonna be a love for people who like those kind of sweet oud fragrances very unisex as well i think in cold weather it will serve you really well the opening is just gorgeous okay so the fragrance also reminds me a little bit of uh, amberiness, okay? Uh, like if you know Noir Ambre or Ambre Noir, the Isimiyake one, it has a sort of like a ambery feel to it. I think Parvez Bai and me were sitting together and he said it has amber to it to his nose, nose as well. I'm just guessing the notes, okay? I'm just telling you what I got. So we were sitting, Parvez Bai brought me the bottles uh, today and I was like, let me do an issue impression, right? Much later, I'll do a full on uh, review, okay? So initial impression, what I get is super sweet opening and it's kind of fruity, touch of oud, but not super loud, very sweet, sweetie kind of oud, and then followed by a little bit of tobacco. And then a dry down, very last dry down, I get kind of like this coffee tonka somewhere in between, there's like a vanilla feel, okay? So it's like a vanilla, uh, they have the coffee, like a cappuccino or frappuccino. It has those sort of a sweet uh, coffee mixed with a lot of milk, right? That sort of feel to this. It's a nice gourmand, it's a very pleasant fragrance, but on the opening, it might smell to you as a little bit like okay it's gonna be like not that loud it gets very loud on the skin extremely long lasting projects really beautifully well i would watch the number of sprays on this one because this one is very very like intense fragrance okay so this is a very interesting one uh, brother daniel thanks for um, heads up on this one i really am happy that i sniffed it try this one if you like red tobacco if you like the likes of noir amre if you like kind of like 
like it, it it reminds me a lot of other fragrances you know if you like spicy you know wood leather uh like maybe some of the dior's collection you might like this one really a uh, bomb of a fragrance i think projection longevity is going to be really solid on this but i'll do a full-on review then i'll give it like a out of 10 mark okay so this is half phase 94 intense version all right so moving on to the next one we're going to be looking at the latest one the latest one is this one it's called oriental wood mr honey of his wrote here while well, he sent it so this one i believe is not for sale it's just for if you had to keep and let other people the customers check the fragrance so many people will be smelling from this bottle same little presentation here bottle comes like that nice presentation hard cardboard box very nice okay okay so this one the bottle looks like this very simplistic sort of band 30 ml bottle okay uh, the cap is tall like that bottom nothing much it's like a decan bottle but there's a sticker here and then the notes are mentioned here oud citrus soft spicy and floral okay and the fragrance name it's called oriental oud so this one if you go to fragrantica nothing alexandria fragrance a lot of other fragrances listed there this is not there and i believe mr kyle stevens yesterday my good friend from usa how are you buddy he is one very good human being he's in many groups he's a very um uh, how to say a uh, free spirit one of my inspiration to do my work uh this guy he received the bottle and he would said i'll let you know my thoughts on it but i think it's, i'm very excited to try this so brother kyle this is for you so the juice color is again yellowish okay and i'm wearing this here while i was testing it this is a beautiful fragrance okay this one reminded me right away of tom ford wood wood and also a little bit of royal wood and in the end there's something surprising it reminded me of a little bit as also brother parvez said rasas is wow woody i'm not saying this is a clone of this definitely not but at the last stage of rasas is wow woody you get a little bit of woody and vetiver very nice masculine uh, niche like and one way street you like vetiver you like this if you do not like uncrenoir you're not gonna like this very simple so i picked up from this one on the opening top note let's show you the sprayer huge spray on this it has this beautiful lemon burst okay that is a surprising factor because the usual oud fragrance is called oriental oud right so you would expect to be hit by agar oud or something dark oud to your face right it wel welcomes you differently it's almost like um creed virgin island water kind of a citrus you would think like wow is this like baccarat rouge the extra version that citrus right here it has that quality citrus very beautiful pleasant opening when you spray it right away you get the citrus okay you're welcome with the citrus very pleasant but this is not a summer fragrance okay the dry down is the most important part of a fragrance this is gonna be spicy woody oriental just like the uh, nose breakdown says here wood citruses soft spicy and floral so i don't know how much floral i get i get more wood and the wood reminds me sort of on a dry down citruses are completely gone after half an hour or so I enjoyed that part of citrus for half an hour very pleasant for this if you find this when it hits the market do not go overboard with this any of this alexandria's big mistake because first of all you're wasting the juice you just need one to two sprays to last 12 hours okay if you spray four or five it's gonna last more than 12 hours but you don't need to last it more than 12 hours right um so it will be a waste second thing is you're gonna be choking people around this one gets pretty spicy, woody, and reminds me a little bit of uh, Versace Eau de Noir, but much better quality, okay? And uh, the sweetness of it, it's very wearable with the suit. It almost is like Tom Ford Eau de Wood quality, okay? So I'm, I don't know, I'm not sure what is a clone of, what clone they try to make, but Haniyaf is, as he told, uh, this is his original creation. This is not inspired by anything. This is his own personal original release. So definitely check it out. I mean, if you like wood, spices, something upper class you wear this this is very upper class so longevity on this is through the roof this and this both sorry the half is 94 both of them have excellent longevity uh, perhaps this will be good for colder weather okay just like the half is 94 so overall i like it i like it a lot but uh, out of these two just last initial impression that is i like the opening of this one oriental oud the unreleased one i like the opening a lot more than half is 984 intense but on the dry down i like this one better than this it's just my initial impression right 
try them out when they come out very interesting fragrances okay so those are my initial impression on Hafez 90, 1984 Intense and Oud Oriental Oud by Alexandria if you like Oud spices vetiver in the last stage and you like a lot of citruses up top this is your kind of juice very up class and if you like something like in the line of red tobacco but much more sweet vanilla uh, like those coffee drinks definitely check this out this is called Hafez 1984 Intense that's my review. Thanks for watching. Thanks, Ifran Bhai, once again. Thanks, Hani Hafiz, once again, brother, for sending this to Bangladesh. I'll see you soon. Have a very nice day. Bye-bye.